July 11th, 2016. And on this job here, I'm going to go uh, switch out a heat pump system. So, um, I have done a job um, on the other side of the house last year. I changed that system out. And this system, uh, it was there last week and uh, the compressor was short at the ground. So, kept tripping the breaker. So, I'm on my way to rip and tear it out and put a new one in there. Put the baby dog with me today. It's not really that warm. It's probably only like 63 degrees out. So, high today is going to be around 75 or 80. I got at least a couple of days there. I'll try to give you guys some shots. Bring you along as I do the job. Steve is working again, Mama. Oh, yeah. Steve is a real working man, y'all. Oh, yeah. Nick level, Nick level. Alright, guys. It's a carrier unit. I'm getting ready to recover it. I smelled the refrigerator, it wasn't burnt, so it wasn't a burnout, it was just short at the ground. Usually if the refrigerant's burnt, you can smell it. I got this all cut away, electrical out. I'm gonna need a new whip and got these lines cut. Got things ready to come out of there. I'll go demo the inside and I'll get rid of this later today. The new one looks a little bit bigger. Might overhang that pad a little bit, but I got I got snow legs for it, so it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, this is the unit that's coming out. Old carrier. Flipping cobwebs here. It's an old carrier. She's coming out. No. The unit's right on the other side of that wall there, so I've got a 35 foot line set. I might reuse this one, I'm not sure yet. Seven eighths, three quarter, seven eighths, uh, three eighths. I might reuse it, probably. We'll see. All right, I got the old one out. It's over there on the floor. I just gotta drag it out of here. Get the fan out and whatnot. We'll get this new one up on. We'll get this new one up here on these these platforms. I don't have to pan it in. Do what we gotta do here. I got all the electrical disconnected for now. Electrician will be here tomorrow. Play around with that. And hopefully I get this new one set and maybe panned in or close to being panned in today. I would that would be good. Uh, if I get that done today and get the old stuff out of here to the scrap pile. We'll see, I'll do as much as I can. All right, guys, so I got this all tied in. It was easy enough. It fit right in there, right where I needed it to be. I gotta do the um, refrigerant lines yet. I'm gonna put the dryer on the inside here. I had to change this. I had to spin this coil around. I had to put a couple of runners, change a couple of runners so I could spin this coil around. I got a little, a little door filter. Put the rack in there. That's all. It's all taped up good all the way around. Next I gotta do is the refrigerant lines. I got the condenser out the heat pump outside already set, so 
we're gaining on it. I talked to the electrician. He should be coming by in the morning. We're making some pretty good time today on this. I got some extra filters there for the guy. All right, guys, I got the little heat pump here up on snow legs. I got my. Give it the old Gundy, mama. This is the one you really want to worry about. The liquid line, that's the one you really want to worry about. Give that one a good douche, y'all. Oh, he <laughs> neck level. Alright guys, I've been using the Stay Bright 8. I have used it on heat pumps before, never an issue. So that's what I'm gonna use. I got a sweep there. And I'll cover it. Bend that piece with my bender. That's what we're gonna use there. Stay Bright 8. I've had pretty good luck with it. I've used it on other heat pumps and not a problem. It's open on the other end, so I'm not too worried right at this point. Side, but I'm gonna rag it here so these don't get hot. That's what I like about this is it doesn't really doesn't really get the doesn't get the stuff hot, you know? I don't like the other the other sort So I've had some pretty good luck with it. Stay bright eight. We'll get that inside sorted, we'll get a nitrogen test on here, put that pulling a vacuum, then I'll continue with other stuff. No solder inside, but I put my gauges on there so I don't build up no pressure. <clears throat> and it goes solder inside. And then we'll put a nitrogen charge on it, see if we're gonna leaks and pull a vacuum. There should always be pressure in this thing. We know that if, if there's no pressure in this, the coil's probably got a leak in it. Pressure. Under pressure. Under pressure. 
Not a lot, but some. But doesn't have any pressure. You're in big trouble, y'all. Oh, <laughs> neck level, neck level. Alright, let's see if we get this thing piped off now. That's the filter that came with the uh, heat pump. Got a swedge there, and I got a couple of joints there to do there. And after I'm done, I'll just I'll cover this with some covering. Not a big deal. nitrogen test on there and see if we got any leaks. Should be fine. But we'll check it. One thing about that stay bright air, if there's a little gap there, it's not going to want to fill in. It won't fill in if there's a gap. That's the only drawback of it. I think we're going to be good. We'll put a test on it and check it. Alright, so I got some nitrogen on there. We'll get some nitrogen. We'll shut it off here and we'll see if it holds. I put an log on the uh, connections. <laughs> she dropped down on like 148 and she's staying right there. Dropped down like three tenths. That's kind of kind of common with this thing. Let it, set, let it set for a while and it'll settle out and it'll stay right there. 
It's always good to check for leaks with the soap. Sometimes there's tiny leaks, but this all seems good. So I check the outside too. Should be able to pull a vacuum on it now. And I put my mic on gauge right there. When I'm done, I could just shut these two valves off and you know, open the uh, open the gas. So we'll pull it down. I had a couple of guys complaining about putting it on the port here. It is better to put it over there. That is a better, you know, a better place to have it actually. So as long as it pulls down to 500, we're good. All right, so we're tight. She's down below 500. I'm good with that. So I'll probably I'll take these caps off. I'll shut them two two valves. Then I'll open these. Open this up. As soon as I shut this valve, and I shut that other valve, then I'll open this up. Release the gas. I was down to 300 microns, so. So I got it off here at this ball valve. And off at that ball valve over there, see it? That's how I do it. And I'll open, open these two valves. You know, some guys might not um, like using silver bright on a heat pump, but like I said, I haven't had a problem with it, so I got no issue using it. I got a couple of heat pumps out there. Um, that I put in last year with them, and uh, no problem. So I like the so I like the Stay Bright Eight because you don't get you don't cook these um, these king valves. You don't get them as hot. All right, let me take all this stuff off and put this covering on. We're doing good here. We're doing pretty good today. I put the bulb on there right about two o'clock and you can see the tails up so I wrapped this just covering on there and wrapped it I'm just gonna wrap this good and do the trap made some, made some pretty good time today actually so I'm doing okay doing okay mom Steve's a real working man y'all Oh, yeah, he is. Alright, tomorrow, electrician will come and hook this up. and I'll, uh, I'm all ready to go. I got the drain all done. I got the trap. I got the drain here. I want to say drain. This is loose. If I ever want to pull this out to check it. All new piping. This is all done. All I have to do is pick up this. Tomorrow, I'm going to pick up all this mess. While he's here wiring the stuff, I'll pick up all this. I'll leave this cardboard for now, but I'll pick this up tomorrow. And, uh, the condenser and the air handler I might take tonight. I made pretty good time today. It's 2 o'clock, so... I got here about 8. I did pretty good. One man show, y'all. Steve is a real working man, y'all. Steve's a real working man. Oh, yeah, he is. Next level, next level. Tomorrow we'll get it wired and we'll run it. We'll set the sub cool and we should be all set. Give it the old gun to y'all. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys remember this, this other job I did last year, but this is on the other end of the house now. 
I put this one in last year. This was the old heat pump design. It's a little three and a half ton also. All right, tomorrow I just gotta pick up the trash. Pick up that. I ain't got no room. I could fit it in there if I really wanted, but. Tomorrow's another day, y'all. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's another day. The only thing I gotta do now is wire it and pick up my light. Electrician shouldn't need that, and I'll leave this in case. I'm tip that down to work on it. It's gonna bring a three-quarter WAP. I'm gonna do the low voltage this time. Like I said, I'll pick this stuff up tomorrow, half time. All right, guys, I got the um, the existing thermostat the way it's wired. I got a little diagram on how we need to wire the low voltage. I got all the stuff in the truck. I'm back here this morning. I got all the stuff in the truck here. She fit right in there, Mama. Steve is a real working man, y'all. Oh, yeah, Steve's a real working man. Nick Little, Nick Little. I went in there and I, I had to switch the programming over because it's a rud. Reversing valve comes in on heat on B. It's got a five minute delay. There we go, cooling. Cooling on. You gotta let it run for a while. Yeah. Superheat's a little lower than I like, but. Yeah, she's still climbing. Well, she was. She went seven, seven, eight, one. Then she went back. Well, your little doggy's defensive, man. Oh yeah. You're not getting in that truck. Well, them pressures aren't looking bad right there. See, so we're at eight now. We gotta give it a little time. Let yeah, it, let it stabilize. Stabilize, but. yeah. What's the, what's the three hundred? Oh, it's four ten a. Four ten a. Defensive, Steve. Well, not so bad. That's the new shit. Eight seven. Right, no yeah, system. she's coming back up. Yeah, my superheat's a little bit better than it was. Got to give it a little time. So now she's at nine one. Well, you liked it more or less now. Yeah, right about where we want it, right there, nine degrees subcooling. Uh, you see, it's kind of glary. That up. Oops. Good. It's not really all that hot inside. That good suction pressure. Are these a piston type or a squirrel? Squirrel. Please. This is a scroll, scroll yeah. compressor. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna stay right there with the sub cooling. So beats right about the TXV is maintaining about 10 degrees superheat, which I'm fine with the suction pressure. And I'm fine with the subcooling. TXV is hunting a little bit there, but I'm fine with that. So everything looks good. I had my uh, my iPad in the sun and it went out on temperature. It's a 
14 seat unit, so subcooling is going to be a little bit higher than normal. But we're good with that. I'm good with them pressures right there. I'll leave it right there. Alright, I'll leave the cooling, I think, on. I think the other one's at 72. Yeah, this one's at 72, so we'll put them both at 72. Yeah. So we're fine there, 72. Alright guys, so it's, um, I put the date there. And she's all set. All the wiring's done. She's working fine. I checked the subcooling. Left it right around 13. I could have probably went a little bit higher with it. Seeing it's a higher fish, it's a 14 seer, but I'm going to leave it right there. I'm happy with that. Come out fine. She's cooling off fine. Good suction pressure. Everything looks fine. Electrical went right in there. Boom. I'm going to leave this cardboard here in case I ever got to come down here and work on it. I got the cardboard to nail on. I'm thinking it's good. I'll leave all the manuals and stuff right up on top there. The old thermostat box. It's a Focus 5000 that's up there. She's ready to rock and roll, y'all. Stevie Labs a real working man, mama. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, I'm happy the way it came out. to work on the reversing valve it's right in there I got room for it she's running y'all she's running oh yeah Nick level y'all Nick level oh look who it is it's the baby dog it's my friend she's my friend she's my friend y'all oh yeah she's my friend she's Nick level she's Nick level you're making grunt noises. Oh, yeah. You, you glad to see me? I think so. Oh, yeah. I know you are. Oh, yeah. You miss me. Yeah, you did. You want some water? Oh, okay. Baby dog is working again, y'all. The baby dog is a real working HVAC proud master HVAC technician, y'all. Oh, yeah, she is. Nick Little, Nick Little. He's a proud master HVAC technician. I gotta go home now and load all this stuff. Unload the truck. Today's my birthday. I'm 52 today, y'all. 52. Oh yeah, just a spring chicken. You done? I don't know if you guys can see, but the ocean's right there. You can see the ocean? Can you see it? Can you see it? There's the ocean right there. Oh yeah. 